I'm not a guitar player, but I've been told if you can learn three chords on the guitar, you can play just about any song. Well, in electronics, there's three basic functions that you can control with a microcontroller, and if you can learn those three, you can control just about 90% of any electronic project, including a 3D printer. I'll explain it all right here at Chuck Hollabuck's Electronic Products. This video is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. When you're first working with microcontrollers like the Arduino, you'll probably flash an LED. That's the most common first project. So it's just a circuit to flash an LED. There's actually an LED on the Uno that can flash instead. But the idea is you're just controlling an output port. It's either high to turn the LED on or low to turn the LED off. Or you can wire it such that a low turns the LED on and a high turns the LED off. But that's a digital output. That's it. It's that simple. But it expands from there. So if you want to control a motor, if you want to control a relay, you control it with a high or a low. But there's circuitry between the microcontroller and the object you want to control, such as a stepper motor on a 3D printer. There are stepper drivers or individual chips that are on the control board. But from the microcontroller, they only require two signals. One is a high or a low to tell it to go forward or reverse. And the other one is just a pulse, high, low, high, low. And every time it goes high and then low, it tells the motor or the stepper driver to advance the motor one step. Everything else is handled by that stepper driver, but from the microcontroller, all you're doing is controlling two digital outputs. The second function is a digital input. That's where the microcontroller senses the pins, whether they're high or low. So it does that to read a switch or a sensor. A good example is right here on a 3D printer. You got your stop switch. When this thing moves, hits the switch, the microcontroller now knows it's reached its home point, tells the motor to stop. I got the same example on reverse right here. I've got a stop switch and I've got a transistor driving a motor. The transistor is on an output pin, the switch is on an input pin. So when I press the button, the motor spins. When I let go, the motor stops, but it's all going through the microcontroller. It knows I'm pressing the switch by monitoring the voltage, and then it drives the output to go high and turn the transistor on to turn on the motor. The third one is analog to digital conversion. The microcontroller has special circuitry which converts an analog voltage to a digital value. You just have to pick the right pins. And then once you have that digital value, you can use that in your program to do different things. So here's an example. I have a potentiometer that as I slide this, it's gonna change voltage on the analog pin. And when it gets above a certain threshold, this is programmed to drive the motor. When it's below, the motor's off. So as I slide this up, the motor turns on. As I slide it down, the motor turns off. So it's an analog voltage getting converted to digital and then driving the digital output pin. Now where is this used? Right here on your 3D printer. Your heated bed. Once it reaches a temperature, the thermistor, which is an analog voltage, tells the microcontroller to stop heating the bed. You've reached the temperature. And then once it starts cooling off, it turns it back on. So the thermistor is reading that and changing this thing on or off. It does the same thing basically to the hot end. Now there's a lot more calculation that goes on within the microcontroller to make it nice and smooth. But really, this whole thing is run by digital inputs on the switches, digital outputs to the motor, and analog to digital conversion on the temperature sensors. It's really that simple. If you want to play with these basic circuits, you don't have to have snap circuits like this or even an actual Arduino. All you need to do is go to Tinkercad Circuits. It's free online. I'll put links to all these circuits in the description below. Here's the first one, the digital output running in Tinkercad Circuits. You can simulate it, you can modify the code, you can modify the circuit to drive something else, and you don't even need any Arduino or circuitry to play with. For the second one, here it is with the motor and the transistor and the switch. All the code to run it, I'll simulate it here. So now when I press the button, the motor will spin. You can see it's spinning, and then when I let go of the button, it'll stop spinning. So it's just a matter of pressing the button or not pressing the button, and then you can play with the code here as well. And for the third one, here it is with the potentiometer, all the code. Again, modify it as you want. Click the simulation button, and now when I turn it past the halfway point, the motor turns, and when I turn it back, the motor stops. 
past the halfway point it turns back it stops so there you go you can play with these there's links in the description below i got more arduino content up on my things.com membership page if you're interested click on the link below and maybe join. I've got more documents to explain the code, the circuits, even links to tinkertag.com circuits so you can play with it and not even have to build anything. I've also got my Arduino book and all my electronics books so as I expand my electronic content it's there for you to read if you're a member. Now that you understand these three basic circuits you'll understand electronic projects a lot better including your 3D printer and may help you fix it when things go wrong. So stay tuned there'll be more of this in the future. If you like it let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. I got playlists as well that include electronics. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way or a membership at things.com. And if nothing else, just click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hollowbuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.